You're watching News Channel 8, non-stop local news. All right, we're going to let you guys keep painting. I said twos. <laughs> we'll check back in in just a few minutes. All right, well, Christmas is now less than 48 hours away, and no doubt you're excited, but maybe you're not as excited to deal with your crazy in-laws. Well, here to tell us about how to balance the holidays and your relationships is clinical psychologist Dr. Chloe Carmichael, who goes by Dr. Chloe. Thanks for coming in. Thanks so much for having me. All right. Um, I feel like there's a lot of people dreading going yes. home for the holidays because of this right away. So we're going to talk about the three big things things that couples deal with around the holidays and where are we going to start? Sure. Well, one of the biggest ones is actually marriage and family building. So whether it's a member of the couple who's saying, where is my ring underneath the tree or couples that are dealing with family building stress because all of the emphasis on family get togethers, family mm -hmm. this, family that, the baby stress can come mm -hmm. up for couples. And so one of the ways that I try to encourage couples to plan ahead for the stress is to think about how they can manage it in advance. Less Last time I was here, I talked about the Fruitful Way app because I am giving them relationship tips. So they, the Fruitful Way app gives couples relationship tips to help them stay in sync during the holidays so that they can keep up with their baby goals because the holiday time crunch can make it hard. So the Fruitful Way app helps. So if you've got maybe that in-law or maybe that relative who's always saying, what are you having a baby? What are you having a baby? What should you do? That's such a good question because what happens there is that the couple can feel divided and alone with it. So again, planning ahead, having a plan where the couple actually literally has a script and they can even think in advance about which one of them is the best person to give it. Because the beauty of this proverbial mother-in-law who's always asking you about a baby is that she always does it. So it's a predictable stress. So you can have a script. I encourage couples to literally join hands at that time <laughs> And then the designated speaker can say something like, you know, mom, we know you're coming from a really good place. It's nice to start off that way so it feels mm -hmm. bridge building. We know you're coming from a good place. We know you want to see the family grow. And we would like to ask you a little favor. Would you be willing to put this baby topic on the shelf just for this holiday season so, so that we can focus on the family together we right. already have? So pre-conversation. I had a friend who dealt with this all the time and, and they had fertility issues as well. And so so she would respond with to the family members, oh, we're still practicing. And that shut, <laughs> shut them up. Right up. <laughs> and the other thing that she noticed worked was when someone would ask that, that she would respond with, well, why do you ask? Because that suddenly then puts them in check like, this has nothing this, not this, this has nothing to do with you. I don't know if you would suggest doing that because yeah. then you're starting some family drama. But <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> well, that, I think I like the way really of trying to say, Mom, thanks for reaching right. out. We know that you're coming from a good place. And then when you say, but can we ask you a favor? That makes right. her feel like she has a choice in the matter mm -hmm. and like you guys are on the same team and so that you can enjoy the holidays as a family. Creating clear goals and expectations mm -hmm. going into it so that, mm -hmm. you know, you can't expect someone to know how you feel about something without telling them. Right, so, exactly. Yeah, so after the family building issue, Right, then would actually come family conflict, which is another one that we're just starting to touch on with the in-laws. So if you always have that uncle that makes inappropriate jokes, you know, <laughs> or whatever the situation is, or say your parent is always say, wanting to bother you about your career, I encourage couples to have a short list in advance of say three topics, three go-to topics. So that once again, when you say, hey dad, I know you're coming from a good place, but I'm doing the best I can in my job search, and I was wondering if we could put it on the shelf, yeah. what you can then do if you've thought in advance and done your homework, if you have three good topics in the back of your mind, so you've got something to pivot to, so yeah. you don't just end on, can we not talk about my job, because that <sighs> feels kind of heavy, and you can say, but dad, I'd really love to talk about, you know, the upcoming championships that you're attending or whatever. As we, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Well, I'm just thinking is this is a political year, and with and everything all over the news, politics. how do you avoid it, though? This I don't even know how it's possible to not talk about mm -hmm. it. How right. do you not say Donald Trump at, at dinner? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, every family, the family politics themselves are different, so how these things get handled. Um, if, if you're somebody that you just don't want to talk about politics at all again, I really encourage you to have those go-to topics in your mind about the other person, so that if you're shutting down one topic, 
topic, you're making it clear that you still want to connect with that person. So you can say, hey, you know, let's take a quick break from the politics this holiday season, but how are the kids doing? How are the kids doing? Or Redirect. Exactly. Yeah. So don't redirect. shut down the conversation. Right. Just yeah. switch the topic. Because that's when people are like, well, I can't yeah. talk. I can't exactly. say anything. Oh, this family is my family. Him. I should be able to talk <laughs> about my family. Exactly. You speak like you have experience. Yeah, it sounds like I'm sensing a little yeah. tension about this. <laughs> Woo, the holidays at those shades. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dr. Chloe, thank you so much. Really thank good you. advice. Great I advice. hope people take it. Thank you thank so much you. for Merry having Christmas. me. Merry Christmas. <laughs> All right, we are going to get one more check on our painters, Jumi and Julie, oh. and see just how they are doing with their little skating penguins.